Welcome to Demystifying Tech, a special video series brought to you by Durham University and the Tech Up Women program. I am Grace, a Tech Up tutor, and today we are going to be debunking some common misconceptions about tech. Misconception number one, tech is all about coding. I started my career as a coder. I was writing code so many years ago, I think about 10 years ago but I have transitioned into UX design, which is a part of tech, because the tech industry is huge and there are so many opportunities. Now, while coding may be important for some parts of tech, it is not for every aspect of tech. For instance, there's cybersecurity, data analysis, tech support, project management, UX design that I do, that do not primarily focus on coding. As a matter of fact, they do not need coding. Misconception number two, tech is only for young people. So this one is not true at all. And that's because whether you are a high school graduate or a mid-career professional looking to pivot into the tech space, or just trying to explore new skills as a retiree, it doesn't matter. There is no right or wrong time to get into the tech space because the tech industry values different perspectives from different industries. It's all about you finding the right fit for yourself within the tech space and approaching it with that willingness to learn. Misconception number three, tech is a boys club. I wish I knew how to roll my eye, but I'm doing it in my heart. Um, that's not true, that's so not true. I see these days so many more women coming into the tech space. As a matter of fact, the Tech Hub Women program and many other organizations, such as Women in Tech, um, they work tirelessly to create an inclusive environment for all genders. Maybe 10 years ago, I would see more men in the room, but now it's beginning to balance out. Myth number four, you need to be a mathematician to work in tech. I think this one follows up on being a coder that we mentioned earlier, but again, not true. Um, while, yeah, there may be some part of tech that you might need a mix of different skills, um, in reality, there are many parts of tech, so many that many people do not even know, um, that focus more on your creativity, on communication skills, on logical thinking, and so many other soft skills. For example, um, myself as a UX designer, my work is centered around understanding user needs and creating intuitive interfaces as opposed to solving complex equations. What I'm trying to say is that logical reasoning and clear communication are just as valuable as mathematical knowledge in tech. Myth number five, tech is too hard to learn. Okay. I used to say there's nothing really hard to learn and there's nothing really easy to learn. It's all about the passion that you bring into it. Like they say in computer, garbage in equals to garbage out. So for some people, some things might feel intimidating. For some other people, it would come natural. For instance, my own journey from coding, being a coder about 10 years ago, to UX design was made possible through consistent practice, curiosity, persistence, embracing the learning process, asking questions, and not being afraid to make those mistakes are very, very important to finding your way or finding your own path in tech. So start with the basics, explore your own interest. Remember that every expert was once a beginner. In conclusion, no matter your background, no matter your gender, you have a place in tech because tech is an ever-evolving field. So if you're interested, there are many programs that you can use to get into the tech space, including the Tech Up Women program. So let's break the barriers together. Stay tuned for more videos in this series where we explore the exciting world of tech. Thanks for watching.